And business editor Richard Southern joins us now. And we heard from some gym and restaurants owners earlier on in the show. And Richard, you've been gathering more reaction from some of the industries that have received this pretty big blow today. I mean, there's there's tons of worry. I mean, there's there's no you know beating around the bush. This is this is going to mean bankruptcy right. uh, for some businesses. It's a very serious matter. And you know, Melissa, some businesses, even big ones, are actually taking aim at the government's decision on this. You know, all movie theaters are going to be required to, to close in Toronto and Peel and Ottawa as of midnight tonight. I want to show you a statement I got in from the CEO of Cineplex, and these are the guys that just recently opened their theaters. He writes, quote, we are very disappointed with the government's decision to close our theaters. He goes on to say, quote, we feel that these forced closures, given our proven track record, are excessive and do not take into account of the uh, team's efforts, which have been, which we are very proud of. I mean, Cineplex has gone to great lengths to show how they've been cleaning uh, their theaters properly. Cineplex stock near a record low on Bay Street. As bad as it could be for the cinemas, it could be even worse, though, for the bars and the restaurants here in the city. The vice president of Restaurants Canada tells me, simply put, many bars and restaurants just won't survive this. Restaurants that were already uh, teetering, that they've um, accumulated massive debt loads. So uh, we're already thinking, wondering whether they could continue. So I think a lot of those now will, will look at the um, effects of this and probably make the hard decision to uh, give up on their life's uh, work. Was this a wrong decision by the government as far as you're concerned? I don't know. Uh, we Unfortunately, the biggest problem we've always had is that they're not sharing the data with us. Uh, we've always said if there's a problem in our industry, tell us what it is and we'll try and we'll try and solve it. Uh, if the problem was bars, if the problem was late night uh, um, openings, whatever it was, we would try and, and address it. We never got that information. We, we don't know what they what they were thinking. Melissa, he tells me he believes this will mean 33,000 food service jobs gone in Toronto alone. Wow. Pretty devastating news today. Now, there could be some help for those on the way for those businesses as the federal government revamps its rent relief program. That's right. They're bringing in a new rent relief program. The old one expired last month, and they are tweaking this or addressing one of the big criticisms that businesses had with the prior one. Uh, it used to be your landlord had to apply for it first. That will no longer be the case. Businesses can apply for rent relief through the uh, Canada Emergency Rent Subsidy. This is what they're calling it. And they can do so directly without their uh, landlord being involved. Uh, this will see small businesses get up to 65% of their expenses subsidized if they lose revenue. You know, rent is the biggest fixed cost for many businesses in the city. And, you know, many have already gone under because of their inability to pay it. So whether or not this is going to be enough or not, and we're going to have to wait and see, Melissa. Okay, now these new restrictions also come on the same day that Statistics Canada released some pretty encouraging job numbers. Yeah, but, you know, uh, you know the news today kind of took the shine off of that in a big way. But we right. did hear that in September, Canada created 378,000 jobs. That was more than expected. The unemployment rate falling for the fourth consecutive month down to nine uh, percent. We're only seven or as of September anyways, only 720,000 jobs away from getting back to where we were before the pandemic. But of course, as we've been talking about today's news of, you know, new closures will spur on jobs losses. So the big focus is on what's happening now. Not so much what happened in September, Melissa. All right. Okay. Well, thanks so much, Richard. We'll see you next hour.